All right, so you wanted to come here because you see evidence uh, of a young Earth uh, because of, of what's here. W what do you see? Yes, well, the first thing we notice is the extent of these layers. It's like a stack of pancakes. For example, the red unit that goes all the way across mm -hmm. our field of view, that's the Schneebly Hill Formation. And above that, you can see the first white unit is the Coconino Sandstone. And above that, you've got the Tura Weep, and at the horizon, you've got the Kaibab Limestone, which is the, the rim rock of the Grand Canyon. And, you know, here we are, 70 more miles from the Grand Canyon, and these layers are still here. Yeah. It's almost hard to imagine the volume of material that that represents. Yes, take the Coconino Sandstone. We can trace it from here, right across New Mexico, Colorado, right over towards Kansas and Oklahoma, or even in Texas. We're talking at least 200,000 square miles mm. for this one rock unit that's consistent for mile after mile after mile. That's not the scale that we see today with localised sedimentation. And to get it flat lying like this over such a large area, it's like you have to make your pancake all at once very rapidly. Mm -hmm. And so these layers show evidence of rapid sedimentation, the, the extent of these layers. Well, Andrew, you, you were talking about that red formation, but that doesn't sound familiar to me. No, that's the Snebley Hill Formation. It's not in the Grand Canyon. In the Grand Canyon, we go from the Coconino into the Hermit Formation. There's that knife edge boundary, and there's no evidence of erosion there, which means that the Hermit Formation was rapidly deposited, and then immediately the Coconino was a deposit on top of it. But here, we've come 70 miles from the Grand Canyon, and we've got this Snebley Hill Formation between the Coconino and the Hermit. Oh. And this Snebley Hill Formation, 800 to 1,000 feet thick, over an area of a, a, a thousand square miles had to have been formed very rapidly. If, if, it, if that took millions of years, we ought to see millions of years of yes. evidence of millions of years erosion back in the Grand Canyon mm -hmm. at that same boundary. We don't. So that means that this Nebula Hill formation in this area had to form in a matter of hours. So it tells you that not only is there a lack of erosion, but there's no time between those boundaries. So the whole sequence of layers was very rapidly deposited.